So first we have to understand some basic physiology of your immune system. So your immune system is, uh, is formulated, anybody know where your immune system is in your body? Small intestine? What? Hi. The bones? Really your immune system is everywhere. Okay? Your immune cells are circulating through your blood and your immune cells do one thing mainly and one thing well. They kill things. So you have T cells that are circulating around your body and all these are different stages of development and they're macrophages, they're white blood cells, they're specifically to go around looking for something to kill. So we, we uh, as we talk about to make it simple, you have really two pieces of your immune response. You have your, what's called your immediate response or what we could call your Th1 response and you have your Th2 response. And your Th1 response, if you can think of it like a cartoon, they are the Marine Corps going around with uh, machine guns looking for something to kill. That's what's going to keep you from getting sick is a healthy Th1 response. So your Th1 response is your immediate response. So if I come in this room and you breathe a virus on me, that virus goes into my body through my lungs and enters into my bloodstream. And if it's at a great enough concentration, I am going to fire, my immune system is going to fire a Th1 response. So my Th1 cells stimulate uh, more production, it releases more Th1 cells. They go down and they find that virus and they kill that virus and, and then that Th1 response drops back down and so I have this little blip of a Th1 response if we want to think of it that way and then it kills the virus and it goes back into balance and I never knew I was sick. Now this happens to us on a daily basis, many times a day, quite often. So we're exposed to some pathogen and then our body kills that pathogen and I never got sick. Well, I didn't get sick. Everybody else was sick in the room, but I never got sick. You had a healthy Th1 response and it was strong enough to kill that virus and your body went back into balance. So normally, a person, this immune system, this immune response needs to be balanced all the time. But it's never balanced all the time. It is always just coming back to equilibrium. So I have an exposure to a pathogen, it fires a Th1 response, it kills it, it brings back into balance. Now let's say I'm exposed to a really bad pathogen like some influenza or something like that. So I fire a Th1 response, it's not able to kill it. Eight hours later it's continuing to fire a Th1 response, continuing to fire a Th1 response. That's when I'm not feeling really good. I think I got a fever, I don't really feel so hot. Am I sweaty? Do I look okay? And I go home and I take a nap, I go to bed and that Th1 response then is unable to kill it within 24 hours. Then what your body does is it shuts down the Th1 response and it fires this Th2 response. Now the Th2 side of your immune system is responsible mainly for creating antibodies. Now whatever it is that the Th1 response fired against, whatever pathogen that was, and it's supposed to only fire against some living organism like a virus, bacteria, uh, parasite, fungus, mold, Lyme disease, something like that, it fired a response against it and it wasn't, if it wasn't able to kill it, that's when the Th1 response will be suppressed and the Th2 response fires. Now stay with me because it's really important when you're dealing with, with, with uh, taking care of people who have these issues. Now the Th2 response fires, think of them pictorially as the, the CIA or the FBI. All, they're not going to really kill anything but they're going to go in there and they're going to find whatever pathogen the Th1 response fired against and they're going to tag it. So they're actually creating antibodies that fit right around that but think of it as they're going to mark it with a tag. There's the virus, we're going to mark it with some fluorescent tape and that's what the Th2 response does. And then within about 8 to 24 hours that suppresses and I fire another Th1 response. And now the Marine Corps with the machine guns can now find the enemy and it kills it. 
So now I was sick for a couple of days, but now I'm feeling a lot better. I don't know what I had. I was in bed, I, you know, I drank a bunch of chicken soup and took some vitamin C and I feel great. Well, you fired a Th1 and a Th2 response and then a Th1 response and you won the battle and now you're better. That's really what happened from an immunological perspective. Okay?